boys and girls, we are continuing with negative angles reduction formula. Right. Uh, how to measure negative angles? For example, let's say the arm is in the fourth quadrant. Right. We measure negative angles from the positive x axis going a, a clockwise direction. Let's say this angle is negative theta. Zero, negative 90, negative 180, negative 270, and negative 360, and so on. That's how we measure negative angles. From the positive x axis going a clockwise direction. Right. If you can check any negative acute angle, it is in the fourth quadrant. So it means when you have, uh, for example, the cos of negative theta. would like to use reduction formula so that a function takes a positive acute angle. Right. Uh, now, this is equal to positive the cos of, of theta. Because that function is in the fourth quadrant. Remember, we know that in this quadrant, only the cos of an angle is positive. Now, let's say we have uh, the tangent, the tangent of negative theta now. So what would be the tangent of negative theta? We are using reduction formula, right? So that we give a function a positive acute angle. Now, that function is in the fourth uh, this this angle is in the fourth quadrant. Therefore, uh, now the tangent in that quadrant is is negative. The tangent of a uh, positive theta. Uh, the sine of an angle again, the sine of a negative theta is equal to minus the sine of theta because sine of an angle in the fourth quadrant is negative. This is about rotation of the arm going uh, negative. Uh, direction. Let me show you an example from uh, the question that I gave you in a homework because most of you struggled with that one. Right. Uh, the question that you saw in your homework uh, reduce cos of negative 180 minus A. Use the reduction formula to reduce this angle to acute. So we'd like to give this function that angle acute, but it must be positive acute angle. Now we're going to figure out where is the arm, right? This is the rotation of uh, 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 the arm in the negative direction, negative angles, right? If you check here, uh, when we rotate the arm, we're going to pass minus uh, 90, and then we're going to pass minus 180, and then subtract theta. Remember, this is an acute angle. So it means the arm is in the, uh, in the second quadrant. The arm is in the second quadrant. Because we have minus 180 and minus theta. So that angle is here, minus theta. So the arm is in the, in the second quadrant. Now we're going to check, is that function positive or negative in there? Now, that function uh, is negative because the function that is positive there is, is the sine of an angle. So, uh, cos of negative 180 minus A is equal to a negative the cos of angle A. Right, I can show you another approach and it is very, very simple. So, in order for you to get rid of negative angles, you, we can add 360. Why are we adding 360? Remember, if the arm is there and we add 360, remember we rotated this arm clockwise direction. If you add 360, we are turning back the arm and then to complete 360, the arm will be at the very same place representing the very same angle. Right. Let me show you. Uh, let's say someone... Uh, uh, rotated the arm minus 180 degrees plus 360 degrees then minus a so what i did to the arm i rotated the arm anti clockwise direction but to complete the circle 360 is added the angle the arm will never change its position the angle will be the same but now it would be represented by 
a positive angle now right now we have cos cos of negative 180 plus 360 it is 180 then minus theta now because we we learned more about a positive angles reduction formula then you know exactly where is 180 minus theta 180 is positive minus theta is in the second quadrant so uh, if you don't understand negative angles please add 360 until you find the angle positive i can give you an example uh, let's say we have a uh, 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 the sign of negative 300 degrees negative 300 degrees so if you think correctly by rotating the arm negative 300 will be in the uh, the first quadrant now let's say you don't understand negative angles you want to deal with positive angles you can simply add 360 to rotate the arm so that you take a, a positive angles then at the end this is a 60 degrees now it is reduced to an acute angle so if you press this on your calculator you're going to get the same answer as that so you can form positive angles from negative angles by adding 360 right that's it right here is the first example let's learn how to simplify when we are given the angles right we're going to make use of the knowledge of reduction formula we're going to check where the angle is lying and at the end we're going to represent a function of an acute angle for uh, all of them right you're going to think about this this is what we learned uh, this is the reduction formula we learned right now uh, the first one if you check we have the sign of 120 120 is not uh, an acute angle now from the reduction formula we we know exactly where 120 is lying it is in here so this is the sign of 180 a minus an acute angle which is 60 it is 120 right the tangent of a uh, squared 330 330 it is in this quadrant 360 minus an acute angle so this is 360 minus an acute angle which is 30 all divided by the cos of 135 the cos of 135 135 it is it it is in this quadrant we don't use any other reduction formula we only use this reduction formula guys 180 minus that's where 135 is uh, in cos of 180 minus 45 degrees give us uh, 135 degrees now the sign of 225 225 it is in this quadrant 180 plus an acute angle sign 180 plus plus 45 degrees right now we go into give each function an acute angle and check in which quadrant is this equal to 180 minus 60 is in the is in the second quadrant and the sign of an angle is positive in that quadrant so this is positive the sign of 60 degrees multiply by now in this quadrant 360 minus 360 minus but this function is squared because it is squared obviously we're gonna have a, a, a positive value because any number squared is positive this is tan squared of 30 degrees divided by in which quadrant is this the second negative the cos because cos of an angle in in the second is negative 45 degrees 
multiply by 138 plus 45. It is in the third quadrant. But the sine of an angle in the third quadrant is negative. Negative the sine of 45 degrees. Now we have the function of special angles that we learned in grade 10. Remember, uh, we can use triangles for special angles, but others are using a calculator you cannot see. Make sure that you don't use a calculator. If you are using a calculator, you must be wise. Use it wisely. The sine of 60 degrees is uh, the square root of 3 over 2 multiplied by the tangent of a uh, squared 30. It is 1 over the square root of 3, all squared, all divided by minus the cos of 45 degrees is minus the square root of 2 over 2, multiplied by another negative the square root of 2 over 2 without using a, cal a calculator using the knowledge of special angles. All right, then we're going to simplify this without using a calculator. This is equal to the square root of 3 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 3 all divided by negative the square root of 2 multiplied by negative the square root of 2 it is is positive 2 divided by 2 by 2 is 4 then we can continue and simplify this without using a calculator it's not a big a big deal this is the square root of 3 over 6 numerator by numerator denominator by denominator and change this sign into multiplication then we go into find the result for this one this is 1 over 2 at the end or 4 over is 1 over 2 which is the yeah is the same as uh, 2 over 1 then the answer at the end is the square root of 3 now uh, 2 goes in here 3 times and 2 goes there once then the answer